Hey everybody, it's Stacy here and today I wanted to show you my storage solution for storing my doodlebug collection items. So I went and got a 12 by 12 three ring binder from Hobby Lobby. I got it 50% off so I think it was only $10 after the sale. And then I got a bunch of different page protectors. So let's get started. Um, in the front here I just have one of these Project Life heavy plastic envelopes. They come in 6x6, 6x12, and 12x12. So that's just got some oddball stuff in the front. This is just a piece of chipboard. So then I bought the Project Life. I think these are... Oh, don't quote me on the size. 25 by 35 and they fit all the doodle pugs or the doodle pops perfectly. So I have them all lined and sorted by season. And then I have a page with my enamel dots and a couple of the doodads when they did the what do you call those flares? And then I have a page that has my sprinkles. Those are enamel shapes. And then that's a couple, that's a blank sheet. And then I have, I had ordered some 6 by 12 inch storage pages for thickers. I ordered them off of Scrapping for Less. It's a Facebook pre order um, scrapbooking card making supply store. Um, I'll post a link below in the description. And so these die cut packages, I just put them in those. Here's another one of them pouches that had some odds and ends in it. Here's another page of the die cuts. And then I go into my icon sticker sheets. Those are 6x12. So again, that's what I use the thickers storage sheets for. So I have quite a few of those. Let's flip through them quick. Can you tell I'm totally obsessed with Doodlebug? Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is the new Polar Pails. That is so cute. And then I've got some of like the Pebbles in here as well. And then some of the other odd brands. And then I start in to the... Um, let me get this tilted up a little bit so you can't see the glare. Okay, so then I start into the uh, 12 by 12 stuff. So these are like the this and that's, and I turned them upside down only because they have this half inch that stick out of the protector. So I did the label edge. So that way none of the actual stickers, if they were to be on the up, upside would actually get wrecked so if anything gets curled or wrecked it's just going to be the label so then I got several sheets of this and that and then I go into my sprinkles vellum I haven't sorted them by color yet they're just kind of halved into two protectors and then I have the Sprinkles vellum that was like the little flowers and like the fourth of patriotic um, stars. And then I have I only have a handful of the big large collection packs. So I have those in here next. And then these are some chipboard stuff that wouldn't fit in the 6x12. And so I just took an 8.5x11 um, page protector and put them in there and then folded it over and clipped them. And then the rest is just blank and empty pockets for growth. So I actually do think I need to get another binder. This is quite ginormous. And but I think it's going to help me to be able to access all of my doodlebug stuff without digging through bins or baggies full of stuff. So that is my binder. 
it won't even close. So yeah, I think I need to split it into two. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps anybody who needed an organization idea. And don't forget to go over to Facebook and check out Scrapping for Less. She's an awesome lady with awesome prices. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.